Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back. Okay, so let's check out our variable right here, this password variable right here. Well, in our database, we use not password, but hashed underscore password. So let's get that straight. The variable password right here represents the user's password, but on our database, we use hashed underscore password, which is still the password, but it's an encrypted form. The hash underscore password gets thrown through a gnarly hashing algorithm that we're going to create in this video and is converted into a more secure string. So our variable password is taking whatever the user submits at face value. What, whatever the user submits is going to be converted into this variable right here. And from here, this variable is going to get turned into this variable in our database and it will go through our security measures. Security measures can be anything. How long a password is. Do we have to mix numbers in? Does one or more character have to be capitalized, etc.? So what do we have? I think I think all we have on our database when we created this password is that the maximum character link has to be shorter than 30 or 40 characters. And we'll be able to submit it into our database. So the only reason I'm doing this is for security. Creating two variables instead of one just allows it that much more difficult for an intruder to access our database and see everybody's information. So... Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create our hashed underscore password algorithm. So let's go ahead and let's drop down right here underneath our password variable. And let's go ahead and create hashed underscore password. And we'll set it equal to our password. Just like that. And we'll close it out. And for, sec for security purposes, we're going to go ahead and create this algorithm. It's a, it's a PHP function. I'm going to sneeze and pause the video. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, so the PHP, the PHP function that I'm going to use is called S. Where did it go? SA1. And this, this was a PHP function. I think it was in, introduced around PHP 4.0. And this will protect any string up to 40 characters long. So that's all we need to do. Just have that right in there, just like that. So make sure you have the exact same code with the same exact variables. So hopefully you guys understand the differences between hash password and this password. This password takes whatever the user submits at face value. And then this is more of our security password that is going to run with this PHP function right now. So let's go ahead and take all this information. Start form processing all the way down to our else right here. And let's copy this and let's add this into our login.php page right now. So I'm gonna open up our login.php page. TextMate, and let's just go ahead and plug this in. So now both of these pages are on the exact same page, imagine that. Okay, so these should be the exact same pages, exact same code, new underscore fact and login.php. Make sure you have everything correct up to here. All right, guys, good luck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.